So here's the thing. We have banned David ha, from this banned. show forever. For life. What happened like, to the ass kissing? <laughs> what happened again. to the ass kissing? <laughs> Never. Mr. David Larry Madowo, <laughs> you look so excited <laughs> interviewing <laughs> Davido. Now you're going to ah, ban him on a show that he could care less whether he's going to be on or not. Right. Now they call him a little brat with a trust fund. Wasn't he a little brat with a trust fund before they brought him to the show? And these are the media personalities that we believe speak for us in an unbiased way. You know, that interview was supposed to get Kenyans to be like, yo. Was it? Was that interview supposed to get Kenyans like, whoa? Let me go to the show, exactly. Yes. You don't even have that courtesy to ask me. You, to, you know, you may not want to be here. That's fine. But I'm going to pay to see you Are tomorrow. you forced to pay yeah. like to see him? Up? It's your he choice to go and up. see him. His demeanor is who he is. What does he need to grow up for? He's making money. He's doing better than any of you guys on that show. He has nothing to consent to what you guys feel or want. Proper PR training uh, anything i mean mm. it doesn't matter how much it does matter how much money you, know, you have as you can see to, that is know, just retarded what she just said like that. that's, that's so childish really there, when you made a him, no, you podium like for him over, you're on a show that um you're supposed to market you can he's already marketed mm -hmm. you can just he can swing on chair because he is able to and you let him why weren't you asking the questions mr larry mado at the time when he was with him who are all about telling him what he wants to hear. David, you look Wasn't that what David, Larry was exactly Brad doing? Oh, you're flying on big cars and uh, with a plane <laughs> as well. I know, I know, <laughs> but I'm mixing up my words, but you get the point. I really don't want to put a lot of mental uh, dispensation, dispensation on this. What I'll have to say, what I love to say about this story is mm. uh, history mm. of Davido. I, I felt like a woman for the first time. Nearly feel like a woman when a man just comes and a fan of it to the Kikamoja. I love one and I'm a little bit. 37 minutes. 37 minutes. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, now I get it. Sorry. No, normally it's not. Uh, I felt, I felt how women felt on that day. It was very sad, by the way. Like when you were here. Oh, yeah, now it's like funny. This is like a uh, roast. David for lack of a better word. Oh, he's wearing pajamas. I don't even understand. But Larry was there kissing us at the time. And now you can talk down on him. This is so, this is so disgusting, by the way. And this is the trend, the biggest show ever. Apparently. For the youth. If I paid to see you, I've paid to see you. Please come, don't lip sync, sing. As much as I love your music, who are all those other guys? I don't know them. Why are they there? That's his people. You called him there. He comes with his people. Duh. Yes. Let me tell you something which you should have known from the very first time Larry was interviewing Davido up on the ground floor. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. When Davido came here, first of all, he had no voice. Yeah, that, was, yeah. that was when I withdrew my 4,000. <laughs> 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 Davido, how is the show going? Oh, I'll sing tomorrow. I'll sing. I'll sing tomorrow. <laughs> And then how do you turn up a TV interview and you're Okay, that was so that. unnecessary. Why wasn't okay. that Same question way. asked at that time? And how is this lady just aware that what you're smelling off of the hub if she does not know what the hub is herself? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need for all of you guys to come down. Maybe she wrote green. This is so wrong. This is so wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, wait. Yeah, we can all laugh at this shit when Kenyans have spent their money, the guys who went, who are the guys who were able to get the biggest loss, the people who went for the interview. Not for the interview, sorry, but for the show. How come we're not addressing that part of the interview? This is re it's retarded. So retarded, by the way. All right, here's the thing. You guys oh, are sadists. Sadist. Sadists. They are sadists. Um, here's some of the you tweets. Look at the grin um, on David Larry's Chetty. face. He seems to be Bonini eating up. Hang. Is David in the house? I All this bad mouthing. <laughs> oh, he, 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 he. Yes. Yeah, terrorists <laughs> coming to the studio is very funny. Joseph Kola, David's witchcraft has acted on NTV after he was bad mouthing. Yeah, and witchcraft, witchcraft well, is very, very funny. Let me funny. tell you. Hmm? I'm about to preach that is so. Uh, no. I don't understand why he. I don't watch <laughs> this. What's the point of all this? Me know people are declaring their dying love for you. Anita, my friend, what you mean? Thank you. Anyway, as you can see, 
our media has a problem, very big problem. We bring the artists into the country. He's booked. He has a manager. The people who are bringing in, they know exactly what he's going to do for how long he's going to do it. He's a performer. He does not do professional interviews for a living. He performs for a living. So some people can't even talk in an interview. That's so irre irre irrelevant. People are paying him for the show. They're not paying him for the interview. And you can see all this that's going on. The bashing that comes from an artist who, of course, as some of these artists are assholes, but you're going to bring them in above other people who would have come in and made Kenyans have the money's worth. But still, that is irrelevant. That is irrelevant to them because they do this thing whereby they do whatever they want. They bring the artists that they want and then they end up and bashing the same artists that they brought to the show. When the artist is gone, how is that going to help anyone? It's retarded. And it's a shame. It's a shame that this is the guy we are going to say, oh yeah, by the way, this guy who asks hard questions, who is begging for Kanyari to come back for his sh to his show so that he can ask questions. We, don't we have other things to do? This is crazy. It's crazy. I, you know what? If you don't see this, I don't see how else or how mind programmed you could possibly be. Because this is what we have to deal with every day. These are the people who are going to tell us the most pertinent things about our lives. What is trendy in this industry, in this country.